Okay, a car is involved in a 14 meters per second collision, right? Okay, it, with a parked car. It's determined to have skidded before, 3.7 seconds before the impact. So if that's the speed of impact, this time happened before it, that makes this the final velocity, I think. Okay? This is time, clearly, because that's our 3.7 seconds, right? If that particular car can break at negative 8.2 meters per second per second, so this, if it's in meters per second per second, it's got to be acceleration, right? Okay, with the tires locked, how fast was the car going before it hit its brakes? So before would be initial velocity. Okay, they're we want to find the initial velocity. We've got the acceleration, we've got the time, we've got the final velocity. So let's see if we have no enough here. Okay, VF is VI plus AT. And I think our final velocity is 14, right? And then we want to know the initial velocity. So that, that'll be our, our thing we don't know, right? Uh, plus, let's see, acceleration, negative 8.2 right, times 3.7. All right, now this will be higher mathematics. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bust this guy out. I'm going to go this times this. Okay, so negative 8.2 times 3.7. Negative 8.2 times 3.7 is negative 30.34. All right, now our next step, oh, it's plus a negative, isn't it? Hmm, can't forget that. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is, of course, we're gonna add this to both sides, right? And we'll get the initial velocity. This will go away, and if I add that on, what do we have? We got uh, 44.34, right? That equals our initial velocity, which is, that's meters per second is our answer. I think that's it. I think we got it.